when we have to provide tension steel in RCC beams. Before going to concept, first let us understand few things. Compression. When a load is applied on any object, the object tends to decrease in its volume without any cracks. Then that type of material or object is said to be good at compression. The best example for compression member is concrete. Concrete. Since concrete is a brittle material, it can take compressive loads and it cannot take tension loads. Because when concrete is pulled by the load, it causes cracks since it is weak in tension. Now the question is, which material can take tension load without any crack? The answer is steel. Since steel is a ductile material, it can take tensile loads but it cannot take the compressive loads. Now let us talk about why tension steel is required. Let us take an example of beam without tension reinforcement and with tension reinforcement and how it behaves due to load. Let us see that. Let us consider beam 1 without tension reinforcement. When a load of WU kN per meter is applied on a beam 1, the beam 1 get deflected due to load and which causes the change in shape of the original beam. One side of the beam subjected to compression force and other side is at a tension force. Compression. The top side of the beam is subjected to compressive force and bottom side of the beam is subjected to tensile force. Since we got to know that concrete is good in compression and weak in tension, so the cracks may occur in tension side of the beam. It means at the bottom of the beam, the cracks may occur. Next, let us take another example of beam 2 with tension reinforcement. With the tension reinforcement, how the beam behaves, let us see. When the same load WU is applied on beam 2, the beam 2 get deflected due to load in very small amount. When compared to beam 1, that is without reinforcement, the beam deflect more. Why means? Because we got to know that steel is a ductile material which is good at tension. So all the tensile load coming on the beam is taken by the steel reinforcement and which in turn reduces crack in the beam and also reduces the deflection in the beam. And to balance the beam due to tensile and compressive loads in the tension side of the beam, steel is provided. That is, in case of simply supported beam and fixed beams, the tension steel or main reinforcement is provided in bottom of the beam section. Because when load is applied on simply supported or fixed beams, the top fiber of the beams are subjected to compression and the bottom fiber of the beam are subjected to tension. So the tension steel is provided on the bottom side, that is on the tension side. But in the case of cantilever beam, the tension steel or main reinforcement is provided on top of the beam. Because when a load is applied on a cantilever beam, the bottom side of the fiber subjected to compression and the top side of the fiber subjected to tension. So in the tension side, we have to provide a tension steel. So on the top of the beam section, the steel is provided in cantilever beam. Next is maximum diameter of tension bars to be used in the beams and maximum distance and minimum distance between the tension reinforcement etc. We will discuss this in next upcoming video. Please like and share the video and subscribe to Civil Today. Thank you for watching.